This is the arrest affidavit for Richard Hayden, accusing him of interfering with public duties, a Class B misdemeanor. The affidavit says it began at the protest on April 29th when Hayden told the trooper he didn't belong there. The document says the trooper told him to leave, but he didn't and instead attempted to breach a line of bicycles. The trooper wrote that he pushed Hayden and that Hayden raised his water bottle and grabbed the officer's bike, breaking the bell on the bike. But Hayden's lawyer told told CBS Austin that there is video and it shows a different version of events. <laughs> University of Texas fired Hayden. His lawyer says he isn't sure of the exact reason why. Unfortunately, I'm not surprised because I, I've, I've heard from faculty that this has been an anxiety. Um, I've heard from multiple professors that this has been something that they've been scared of when they're taking a stand is that they might get fired. Mia Sisko is a UT junior who was arrested in the protest on April 24th. I don't think anyone feels normal right now, even if they're apolitical. Um, just because, like, there's a lot of cops on campus. At an event, Austin Mayor Kirk Watson didn't speak directly to Hayden's firing, but he did call for a different approach to the protests. And we need to make sure we're not only protecting people's right to protest, but we're also making sure everybody follows their responsibility and does it in a way that doesn't create harm. Tonight, Hayden is out of jail on a $1,000 bond. Cisco says she appreciates the faculty who came out to the protests. It's like a Muslim student on campus. It's been scary. It's been a scary time, I think. Um, and to know that like there are people by our side who are willing to uh, also speak out for what they believe in. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.